Five past twelve. So. Okay. Have they realised it was that I that we were waiting for it? Okay, maybe we go back in. For them, I should say. One hour wait. Hmm, okay. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what Victor was up to. Um, oh, how he got in here. Hmm. Maybe I am meant to hack in. Because this is, this is, oh, this is, right, this is the, the spy. The Legion spy. I'm going to try hacking in. Da, 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 the classic. Right. Views. Two are correct. Could be deeds. Four are correct. Deems. Yeah. Makes sense. Uh, I want something other than open. Access lock. Sills on duty this morning. Um, so, Shul Barker, half six to half twelve. So, there's an entry... At 6.19, 6.25, which is outside that. Um, and then Hal Reynolds, half 12 till 6. And then there's like, oh, it's like it's 1 in the morning is when he comes in. Yeah, 1 in the morning. What is time? He should be in here. They should be in here. Whoever it is. Can't escape. I don't want to wait 23 hours. Like, that's the other option. Yeah. Yeah, because it's like between half six and, and half 12, and then. Well, between half six and six in the evening. Well, say six and six. Because that's probably not too far out. And yeah. Yeah, there's an entry at 1 and leaves at quarter past 1. Enter at 1, leave at 25 past. So it's too late now, I would say. Well, that's annoying, isn't it? Um, right. Well, let's go and do some investigating. Uh, and then we'll come back here, maybe. Um... Kind of tomorrow night and try this again. So it looks like it, we've got to be there for one. But I don't know if it's we have to go in at one rather than what I did, which was um, be in there at one because that might like spook him. Um. Hmm. But yeah, okay, that's something to think about for the next time we're at one. In, it's about it's around one in the morning. keep forgetting this is a north-south door. I keep thinking what's east-west on the side. Um, yeah, so let's head to the Crimson Caravan. And see if something comes from. See if we can find something for Cass there. I want to get all the information, then we'll pick up Cass again. Um, uh, 
I mean, we could also head to invest and investigate the west. And if that's the east pump, the west pump must be, well, around the other side of Vegas. Um, for what happened to Corporal White? Was it Corporal White? Well, it was. I know it was White. I just can't remember if it was Corporal. I think it was Corporal. Um. So that's something to consider. Um. Oh yeah, th that wall is the one going into the Crimson Caravan, isn't it? I mean, we could. There's the fort in there. There's the old Mormon fort that I suppose might have been a trigger. For Veronica, we could do that. And then find somewhere to sit down. Right, okay, so here we are. Yeah, I assume we go in here. So no one up and about. Right. <clears throat> War effort. McCowan has requested more frequent supply runs to the outlying outposts. I've been able to negotiate additional terms in our favour, but I may need to lower our hiring standards to meet the demand. I'm already concerned about the reliability of some of the caravaneers. Were it not for the work contracts, I know some of them would have run off a long time ago. Nobody seems to believe in hard work anymore. I'm runner. Uh, unless your push for a new tariff on gunrunner weapons didn't make it past the Senate, they've got to too much pull in California. We're going to have to find some other way to get the upper hand in the weapons market, which is why they want, why she wants me to get their manufacturing stuff. Henry Jameson. Efforts to encourage Henry Jameson to resign have so far failed. His parents are proving stubborn as well. Obviously, they don't want him around any more than I do. Getting the new Vegas branch up and running should have been a simple job for him, but this place is still as crude and primitive as any frontier branch. Very irritating. Uh, the Mormons are warming up to the idea of a Crimson Caravan branch being established in New Canaan. Naturally, the taxes are such that will be at a se severe disadvantage to their own caravans. The long-term solution is to overwhelm them with a flood of cheap NCR goods. I'll have, um, yeah, and then you kill off their production, so then the only way to do things is to bring them in. I have to call in some favourites with our contacts back in California, but the potential profit margins are worth it. Alright, well, into the desk. Oh. Hmm, no. Oh, that's the one I've already broken into. And I'm gonna do it. No, we're trying to, we're gonna investigate. They might have details in here. Like, it should only be, you should only lose karma if you actually take stuff. Oh, there's another terminal. This one might be more likely what we want. Yeah, how am I losing? I'm losing Carmina by doing this the peaceful way. Right. Uh, don't stop believing. Okay, so it's not Ing. Recognize. Could be. No. Interface. T E R. Nope. It's not ing. Briefcase. B. R I E F C. Nope. Moonshine. That's got the I N. M O O N S H I N E. Okay. And that's got the I E. There we go. Uh, okay, member random, 17th of the 5th, Don Hosteler, Tuesday meeting with accounts receiver. Mr. Hosteler, uh, just a reminder, your meeting with accounts receivable was moved to Tuesday. I've cleared your schedule and moved your lunch plans ahead to 1.45. Uh, 2nd of June. Mr. Hosteler, I really need to schedule an important judgment meeting. Can you clear an hour this afternoon and promise it will be worth your while? Ooh. The next day, I had an amazing time last night, Don. Aren't you glad you decided to stay late? Can't wait to do it again. 
Found some pre-war country in the market. I think you'll like it. Okay, that's not what we want. Right. You are pointing me oh towards the safe, which I have to break into as well. Consider oh no. Oh flip. And it's all the way back to the beginning. So I want to get it to about no. No, that one. There we go. You've lost car. You've lost karma. What? Because uh, I know I've broken in. I get that, but this is to prevent, you know, horrible, horrible death. Right. Hmm. This is an agreement between the Crimson Caravan Company and the Van Graffs to undercut or eliminate all other rival caravan companies of the region, such as the Gun Runners and Cassidy Caravans. In the case of Cassidy Caravans, Gloria Van Graff has agreed to use mercenaries against Cassidy Caravans to drive down the company's value, allowing Alice McClafferty to purchase the remaining assets at a bargain price. Okay. And you've... Okay, nothing's actually triggered from that. Oh, no. Okay, there we go. So is that one done now? Oh, no, I have to go into silver, the silver rush. But we have the evidence... I mean, unless they've planted it, but they've also planted it in a way that incriminates them, that incriminate the well, They've planted evidence that also incriminates themselves. Okay, we're going to go to the Silver Rush. <sighs> Which I don't know where that is yet. I assume it's in Freeside, from just the direction it's pointing me. Oh, and we want to come in Sir. here anyway, because we want to sit down in the... We want to go into the Mormon Fort and then sit down and see if that triggers something with Veronica. Oh, food. Okay. So, yeah, we'll head in here. Rat's still, still alive. You go, rat! You go. Right, is there somewhere to sit... Down. Sit. Okay. <gasps> sit. Oh, sit. Who's a good protagonist? Talk. What's up? No. Okay. See you around. No idea whether this is going to trigger. Uh, right. Uh, so let's go back. Right, we're going to the Silver Rush. Um, that's through here. To Mick and Ralph for all your shopping needs. What? Come to Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs. Oh, I thought that was, I thought we were already in Freeside. Oh wow. Okay. Um, oh, Silver Rush. I just want to see what's down here with the big sign. Get lucky? Head on down to the Atomic Wrangler. Um. Yeah. I'm afraid I'm going to have to search you before letting you in. The only weapons allowed on the premises are the ones we're selling. Okay, search away. It should only take a moment. There. I've stored all of your weapons. You clear the inner. When you leave, I'll hand them all back to you. Okay. So what stops me buying a weapon and using it? You'll have to wait until it's over. Mr. Soren, please get to the point. The second half of your payment is late, and I want to know why. Miss Van Graff, my associates and I have decided that we wish to renegotiate the terms of our deal. Might I ask for what reason? The shipment was delivered. The guns were tested before leaving this facility. Regardless, we feel that the quality of the weapons is below expectation. We hope to adjust the price accordingly. Ah. I think I understand what the issue here is. Excuse me for a moment, would you? Is he about to get shot? Do it. 
Never break faith with the Van Graffs, Mr. Soren. I expect you'll have the rest of our payment ready tomorrow morning. Right. Okay, everyone. Show's over. Back to work. Ooh. Right. I thought you were going to walk up to me to talk to me. Welcome to the Silver Rush, where only top-of-the-line energy weapons can be found. What can I do for you? Uh, uh, can I ask you some questions? Not at all. Uh, I, what do you think of the Gunrunners? There are chief competitors in this region and many others. That makes them our enemies. Indeed. While I respect their business acumen, I'm obligated to try to destroy them however I can. That's business, after all. Uh, this seems like a bad neighborhood to open a store. Look around, and you'll notice two things. First, we don't lack for security. I'm not worried about anyone breaking in here or stealing our goods. Not that we don't occasionally have attempts, but even those prove useful. Do you know how much target dummies cost? Back to my point. The second thing you'll notice is that we do not sell cheap merchandise. Everything here is second to none. People who buy Van Graaff goods typically don't care where they have to go to get them. Okay. Um... What do you think of the NCR? You must not know a lot about my family, or you wouldn't have asked that. The Van Graaffs and the NCR have been enemies for decades. They've tried to block our expansion for years, but we've managed to grow regardless. The problem is, they have too. The NCR is huge now. We're talking on a scale that's difficult to imagine. Time was, we could fight them and hold our own. Not so anymore. My family has enough men and guns to field a small army, but the NCR can field a really, really big army. Fighting them is out of the question now. Right. Well, see you later. Bye. Okay, so that's not... Holy hell, that's a lot of energy weapons. Guess we dropped the ball on that one. Wait, is that a... Wait, is this a trigger? <gasps> you know, I've been thinking. The real problem with the Brotherhood is that we isolate ourselves. Our training is top-notch, our technology gives us an advantage, but when it all comes down to it, we're losing because we shun the outside world. We always make enemies, never allies. We refuse to recruit outsiders or see the value in their simpler technologies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, why don't you do something about it? I don't know. I'm still thinking about what kind of role we could take on that would give us the best chance of survival. But I think things are starting to come together. I know the odds aren't good, but I gotta try. I can't lose them. Oh, okay, so the other dialogue... See you around. Okay, so the other bit of dialogue wasn't a dialogue for Cottonwood Cove. It was a general thing for... Oh, I can just walk, walk, walk around. Oh, right, this is for the toilets. Oh, wow. Um, okay. Okay, so I think the other, so the other one must have triggered from Cottonwood Cove. It must have triggered from going into Camp McCarran. 